welcome to Next Game's Unity series. This one covering the Vermilion Fishfly and taking it out on the Ninja Job. In this video, I'll go over the Vermilion Fishfly battle strategy and then show you two examples of the Vermilion Fishfly fight. They both go fairly quickly. The Vermilion Fishfly is a level 125 fly with the usual fly attacks, which include Venom, which is conal damage and poison that ignores your shadows, Curse Fear, which is AoE darkness damage that ignores your shadows, Debilitating Drone, which is a random attribute reduction that ignores your shadows, and Somersault, which is a single target damage ability absorbed by a single shadow. Now the flies will also use Haska, Sloga, Arrow 3, Arrow 4, and Aroga 3. Flies are individually very weak, but 8 will spawn all at once when you spawn this NM. When one is killed, they will all use an ability on the person who has hate on the main fly. This is the most challenging aspect of this fight, and what was stopping me from being able to beat it before is when I killed the first one, the other 7 would use a TP move, usually 3 to 4 of them would use Curse Sphere, which would do 5 to 700 damage each, and obviously that would one shot me. Now we are using Archie V to tank, Joachim for March, Arcelia for haste, and Monboro and Sylvie for cures. Now I had already posted a video on how to beat this using Summoner's SP abilities, since I couldn't beat it on Ninja. However, in the comments for that video, Simon says was nice enough to suggest trying Aeolian Edge so that you could kill all of them at once. I was intrigued by this idea, so I figured I'd give it a try. Now if you're going to try this strategy, I would recommend getting 3000 TP first to start off with a massive Aeolian Edge weapon skill. Then get TP on that first fly that you target, use Aeolian Edge again, and then switch to the next fly. As soon as you have TP, use Aeolian Edge again, and then switch to the next fly. Keep doing this until all the flies are around 20% hit points. Note, you may need to stop using Aeolian Edge after the first few flies, to keep bringing the rest down to 20%. Otherwise, you will accidentally kill the first flies you damaged, and then of course may die just like we were doing before. Now once they are all around 20% hit points, use one final Aeolian Edge, and at this point you should have roughly 3000% TP, which should hopefully take all of them out, or at least a good portion of them out. Now the riskiest part of this entire fight is at the very start, when you can sometimes lag, which can make it so you die before you even engage. This almost happens to me on the first run you see, so you'll see exactly what I mean here. On the second, it goes much smoother, so you'll see how you normally would want it to go, but it definitely is the riskiest time right there at the start, so make sure you're ready for it. Okay, let's see how these runs go. Enjoy the runs, everyone.
And that will be it. As you can see, it's not too difficult. One thing I haven't mentioned is make sure you're in your evasion gear. I was in that for both of those runs. Uh, I don't even have a shuriken equipped. I, I, I want that much evasion for these runs. Um, hope you found that helpful. Thanks to Simon for suggesting it, because man, that worked out well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy.